I think I was, I was always struck since, since a child that the obvious question that we cannot expand forever on a limited planet, how much sophistication there was in all kinds of thinking to deny that fact. I mean, it's obvious we cannot always use more on a limited planet. Um, I remember my grandfather telling me, like, after the oil crisis in 73, yeah, we always had 40 years of oil left. That were just, as we use oil up, there will always be more oil to find. And I thought, how can that be? I mean, the, the, the planet is only that big. So at one point, <laughs> you'll use up everything that you had. And, 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 and so it's kind of funny that the naive child is still more in touch with it than the sophisticated, educated adult who tries to um, de deny that reality. And, and, and I think from the fear, perhaps, of, of losing all the huge gains that we've made over the 20, 20th century. I mean, in some ways, we say the people in the rich world, I mean, having safe housing and then having extremely cheap food of highest quality and you know, of the enormous variety of food that we can eat. I mean, it's incredible compared to 100 years ago, where we may have eaten, I don't know, oatmeal every day, I don't know. So, 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 so I can sense there's a certain fear of that people think if we actually truly listen to the ecological realities that we have to give up so much of what we value. Now, the good news is that actually there are many ways to secure our well-being uh, without having to lose. Um, our ecological assets as well.